This comes out of 2.6, the chain rule. And I, I picked this one out of your textbook because uh, I get asked uh, fairly often how to, how to go about it. We're told that f of x equals in brackets h of x cubed. And we're asked, what's the derivative of that? What's f prime? Um, using our chain rule, we know that it should be 3 times h of x squared times the derivative of the inside, which is just h prime x. And because we're not told any more information about what h is, that's where we stop. Now, a second follow-up example of that said that g of x equals h of x cubed. And the question is, what's the derivative of that? How is it different, or is it the same? Well, the answer is that it's different. Uh, we start off by saying, well, whatever h prime of x cubed is, then times the derivative of the inside, which is times 3 x squared. In some ways, I think of uh, the the chain rule like peeling an onion. You take the derivative of the outs, outermost function, and then the next one in, then the next one in, then the next one in. Usually you don't have that many layers, but if you have you know, more than one or two, you just keep going, going, going until you've differentiated all the way in to the innermost function. Um, so I'll finish off with one kind of nasty looking square root example. We're given a function that looks like this. Terrible looking thing because it's got a square root and then under that square root, it's got another square root. Um, and we're asked for, you know, what's y prime or what's what's dy by dx. I've I mentioned a few times I personally prefer uh, exponents to radicals. So I've got 3x plus 5x squared minus 1 to the 1 half, all of that to the 1 half. So when I do the derivative of this, I need to first take the derivative of the outermost function, say 1 half, that whole thing to the negative 1 half. So leave this stuff all alone. 5x squared minus 1 to the 1 half. So there's my first term. Now, times the derivative of what's inside those brackets, which is 3 plus, now the derivative of this requires some chain rule as well, which is 1 half 5x squared minus 1 to the negative 1 half times the derivative of 5x squared, which is 10x. Um, so you can see where I say it's like peeling an onion somehow. You just got to keep di differentiating until you get to the innermost function that you have and make sure you've differentiated everything. Um, this question, really trying to simplify from here, isn't going to get me too, too much further than I already am. Um, probably it would be asked in the form of like, what's the slope of the tangent line when x equals 1 or something? And we'd just put 1 into this and figure out what the slope actually is. But what I really wanted to emphasize here is just, you know, what's, how do I take the derivative of a function of a function of a function? And the answer is chain rule.